Well, neither do I. He looks like a Gordon Ramsay. But you know what? She was trying to help you. So you really can't shoot her down for that. Come on now. The gas station was my best bet. They'd have a phone I could use. It looked like a long hike through the forest to get there. It makes me wonder, when on earth did you become... Ruined a perfectly good car, good sir. And got done being a complete jerk to your wife. How do you feel about this? Ah, oh, no monologuing. Alright, fine. No monologuing. Hello? Yo. Oh, wait. Spoke too soon. Ah, bright light. Bright light. Hello? Someone there? Pages. The loose sheets of paper were pages from a manuscript entitled Departure. That was the name I planned to use for the next novel I had never gotten started. I was named the author. I hadn't written it. I couldn't remember writing it. In the scene on the page, the hero was attacked by an axe murderer in the woods at night. Oh dear. Um, F. Five. Departure right. by Alan Wake. Uh, I guess I'll just let you resume. Um. The man turned to face me. His face was covered in shadows. It was hard to make him out in the darkness of the forest that surrounded us. But the axe he lifted was plain to see. It glistened with the blood of his victim. He grinned madly. The shadows were alive, distorting his features. It was a scene from a nightmare, but I was awake. Well, now. Hopefully, this is not. Ah, who am I kidding? I got attacked by an axe man. This is probably. Anybody there? Please! I've been in an accident! You know what? I would be concerned if someone was there and then disappeared. Do you really want to be talking to someone like that? Anything? No. The lights up ahead were a good sign. Maybe I wouldn't have to hike all the way down to the gas station to find a phone. Alright. Well, let's see what we can find. Nothing here. Dang it. Okay. Just be careful. No, you're a rider and all. Mm. Uh, anybody there? Please, I've been in an accident. Hey! Hey, you! Phil! There's been an accident. I need help. Deposit. Listen, I need to. Premium cabins for rent in. Oh, hell. Carl Stucky. Please. To beat you. Non-reflectable reservation deposit required. Fair and square. Uh. Fair and square. Do you have anything on you, guy? Like, could, like, take off of your hands. I know you're dead and all, but it, it may help me. Let's see. Oh, hey, another page. What's this one say? The Taken stood before me. It was impossible to focus on it, as if it stood in a blind spot caused by a brain tumor and eye disease. It was bleeding shadows like ink underwater, like a cloud of blood from a shark bite. I was terrified. I squeezed the flashlight like my life depended on it, willing it to stop coming any closer. Suddenly something gave, and the light seemed to shine brighter. Hmm. Oh wait, crap. Okay. Okay, I, I get it, guy. I, I get it. You're you're very angry. I'm just gonna continue to the light. You lose shit. Let's run. It's the lady. I had 
to figure okay. a way out of this. Any second now, and Stucky would be knocking on the door with his axe like Nicholson in The Shining. I I'm glad you brought that up, because otherwise I would have brought it up, and it would have made us look fairly dorky. Alright. What are these? Batteries! We shall take all of the batteries. Now. During your is this trying Yes, we are going to take ammo. It's the latest thing. Use the phone. In Call for help. Quickly. Yes. Roman! Right Paul Sheriff Station. Hello? Hello? Oh, well, you know what, guy, you're just being a jerk. You can see the sights and keep those calls. Um, okay, can we see? Oh dear. Oh dear. We we need out. Ow. Okay. You know what? Yeah, that was good plan. Let's go let's just keep going. The door said open. Also, nicely front. Oh, got it. Come on. Come on. Come on. All right. My head pounded with the Reload as fast as you can. I'd never fired a gun outside a shooting range, and now I just killed someone or something. There were no bodies. They just disappeared. If I was dreaming, it felt real enough to make me sick. Mm -hmm. Okay. Eerie hand-painted graffiti was oh. revealed by my flashlight. Someone had hidden a chest of supplies near it. Hello. Thank you very much. Wait, was there any ammo in there? I didn't see. No, dang it. But make sure you do not use or waste it. Ooh, more ammo. Good to know. Let's turn this on. Oh, it's a light. Good to know. Hmm. Yeah, I don't want you getting sapped, so... Can we... That works. At least I think so. Why don't we just take this? I know it's a little on the rusty side, but we could use it. Uh, but I guess I would have to go with the The dark range, forest was the last place I wanted to go, but I had no choice. I had to get to the gas station. Yes. So thus we move. Oh, oh, oh hello. No, it. No. No, I'm not gonna go with that. I'm not gonna go with that pun. You may have lined it up for me, but I, I just <laughs> I can't for the life of me. We're gonna steal everything. How's no one like being on him for all the stuff that he is clearly stealing, especially that coffee thermos from before? Is there anything over here? Wait, glowing, glowing paper. What you got for us? Rose knew she had been gushing, but right now she didn't care. As far as she was concerned, her brief meeting with Alan Wake was literally the high point of her life. She watched as he got in the car with his wife. She was pretty, confident, at ease with Wake. Not like Rose. They were perfect for each other. She had given anything to be called their friend. Oh. See, now you just made the high point of a freaking life, and you were a dick. I'm sorry, but you're a dick. How do you feel about that now, huh? Is there anything mine in this house? Absolutely nothing. I hope you are happy with yourself, good sir. I frown upon you. Hopefully by the end of this you'll be less of a jerk. Hmm, probably not, though. Oof. Guy, you really gotta do something about them. About them, uh, 
head things. What the hell was that? Do you want to know? Do we want to know? Because I really think we don't want to know. When I saw the river below, <sighs> something uncoiled itself inside my head. I realized that I'd have to find a way across. I didn't even want to look at the water. Yeah, well, you know what? You're being a pansy right now, so... This way? Does this way lead anywhere? At least a coffee. Which is enough for me. Now, this way. And not in the water. Typically a good thing. Alright. Can we do anything with this? Nope. Alright, we'll go the other way. We can, yeah, we can just walk across here. See, be pansy for nothing. There's plenty of logs everywhere. And boxes. And hold on. What was that? More paper. I need that. Barry Wheeler was bouncing off the walls. He jumped on a plane after his calls were ignored by both Al and Alice for several days. It could mean that they were both on a second honeymoon, but Barry didn't buy it. Al had been way too unstable for that, not sleeping, messed up. Barry had years of experience dealing with Alan Wake, and he couldn't ignore it. Something was wrong. How? Oh. So... Hmm. So far, especially with the Barry and Rose, that it is clearly depicting my life here. Alan, you wrote a story about yourself. How vain are you? Where am I? We need to... Can I focus? No, I can't. I came from over there. I need to get... Is that the house? It's just... Uh, oh wait, there's the gas station. Okay. So we're semi on the right track? Hmm. Dang it. Alan, why don't you have a super keen sense of direction? It could really be used right now. Let's go this way. Oh, well, I, I guess I'd... Stucky was still out there, oh in dear. the dark, stalking me. Just like any good fan would do. Okay, so there's nothing over here? Not even coffee? Dang it, I feel cheapened. Now. Come on. Rocks are not that hard to walk on. Oh, well, hello, hello. You guys. Just, no. No, no, no. Holy crap. That one throws. Nope. Nope. We're going to. We're going to blind. Shoot you. Completely justify every single aspect of it. I think I got the other guy. I hope I got the other guy. Hmm. Where? Dang it, where am I? Where am I? Okay. Well, we're meant to be on this side. Oh, hey, there it is. Up the rocks. Up the rocks. Come on. Proceed at your own risk. I shall do. Hmm. Follow the mysterious arrows laid out for me.
Um. Oh. Well, hmm. Actually, I think I shall leave it here. At least we got kind of past the first part, so. Until next time, we will make our way next time to a said gas station and hopefully phone for rescue. And hopefully he will be less of a jerk as he does it. But that's like asking this fog to lift up. So, until next time guys. Bye bye.